in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to upscale your 1080p footage into a 4K timeline in Premiere Pro. This way you're able to maximize the quality of your footage. So to start this off, we are gonna open up Premiere Pro, start a new project. We are gonna title this 1080p upscale, hit create. Now to start a new 4K sequence, we're gonna hit Command N. We'll go to settings, make sure your frame size is 3840 by 2160. Go down to sequence name. We'll just title this 1080p upscale. Boom. All right, so now we have a 4K sequence. And now what we're gonna do is pull our folder that has all the content of 1080p footage. Now this is gonna be from my recent shoot. We'll go ahead and drag it over. Open this up. Command all. Drag all your footage here on the timeline. Hit keep existing settings. And now what you're gonna actually see is that all your footage that's shot in 1080p does not fit the 4K sequence. So don't worry, super easy fix. What we're gonna do is highlight everything, right click, set to frame size, and bam, there you have it. All of your 1080p footage is now upscaled to a 4K sequence and you're ready to start editing. But let's not just stop there. Let me show you what I do to make sure my export is always on point. So what you're seeing here is a fully edited sequence that has 1080p footage upscaled to 4K. To go to our export settings, I'll hit Command M. We'll first go to frame size. You'll see full HD 1920 by 1080. That is not what we want. We'll match it to the source that we made our sequence, which is 4K. You'll see that that changes here. Upscales everything and make sure that it's 4K. We'll scroll down to target bitrate. I like to keep it anywhere between 50 to 75. I like going a little higher. This is the sweet spot number that I like to use which keeps our size of our actual file in the end. Not too large, but not too small. And there you have it, you're ready to export it. So we'll go ahead and hit export. And now we wait for it to export. So there you have it guys. You now know how to upscale your 1080p footage into a 4K timeline. And as a bonus, you have all the export settings ready to render a high quality video that is 4K quality. Thanks again for checking out this video guys. Hopefully it does help you if you're using cameras that shoot 1080p footage like the EOS R. Which brings me to this video where I break down the pros and cons of why you should actually be considering the EOS R in your workflow. I'm always upscaling my footage from that camera. If you haven't yet, hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And if you have any questions or anything you wanna see me cover in future videos, make sure to comment below. I'll see you guys on the next one guys, peace.